Welcome to this Windows channel and this is finally the quick look and review of the brand new build of Windows 10 which is build 14901. This is the first build of Redstone 2, the update that we'll have in April of next year. So uh, we're already getting uh, something for that build. Only a week and a half after the release of Anniversary Update, which is pretty uh, amazing too. It's pretty fast. And uh, I think, you know, it shows that Microsoft really wants to uh, go ahead real quick with all of this um, and make sure that they have two releases next year, basically. So uh, install went well, but there was a glitch for a lot of insiders. I was part of those. You couldn't have this built. It was released yesterday late afternoon and a lot of insiders couldn't have it um a lot of people i've i was reading um a lot of the uh, blog posts and uh man a lot of insiders did not have this and i was part of those i was i didn't have it until today and this morning donna sarkar said yeah we're, we're trying to fix the issue that a lot of insiders are not having the uh, insider preview finally around 2 30 3 p.m eastern time today uh, it was there. It was available. I downloaded it and installed it. Since then, I've been uh, actually using it as my main computer for the past four hours to see how good it is, how stable it is. The install went well. Um, no glitches, no problems, no blue screens. Uh, came out with, hi, you're here. Uh, your files are where you kept them and so on. Basically, uh, been using it for four hours, a little more. No blue screens, no glitches, no freezes. So it seems to be a pretty stable build. Um, what's new? That's probably the question for a lot of people. Well, only one thing. Uh, something called notifications for File Explorer. Now, that is something, I don't know. I haven't seen anything that will show this yet. But apparently, the File Explorer will be able to have notifications in here that we don't have yet and uh, all that donna sarkar said is if that bothers you or if there are problems um, you can go into the file explorer go into file into uh, change folder and search options and in the view tab you'll go down and you'll see something called show sync provider notifications this exists in our actual anniversary update build but it's not there to show anything. It just is an option that existed. In this build, they activated that functionality. So apparently, it's possible that we get notifications from the File Explorer. That's pretty much what I know. For the rest, nothing has changed. Um, why? Because they're working on what's called one core. One core is that unified core of Windows 10 they're working on that because before they can add new features, that one core needs to be updated to be able to receive these features. And that's what's happening. The one core app is actually, uh, or not app, but core of Windows 10 is being tweaked. And so what we're testing right now is not new features really, it's the tweaking of that core. Is it stable? Is it working? Are we getting bad, uh, you know, freezes or problems? They're going slowly like this. And the next few builds are probably going to be boring in a sense that that's what's going to happen. We're going to have improvements to one core. Uh, and there are a lot of improvements as we jumped from 14.393 anniversary update to 14.901. So there's a lot of improvements inside the core that we don't see when we're using Windows, that we have to know. Um, are there glitches, issues, or problems? Well, two things that Microsoft has mentioned. The support for kernel debugging over 1394 has been removed, but it will be available in an upcoming kit release. So that's one thing. For those that use Adobe Acro Acrobat Reader, that will crash on your machine. So if you use a PDF reader, which is from Adobe, big possibility that you'll have a crash in this build. 
uh, they know about that already. They've issued the warning. Apart from that, of course, they're waiting for everybody to give out any details of what's new, what's changed. Like I said, apart from that little notification that apparently can show up sometimes, uh, nothing new. Still uh, pretty much the same build uh, with, of course, tweaks in the one core environment. So, hey, we're here at the uh, brand new Redstone 2 already. And um, slowly but surely, we'll go ahead with new features and all sorts of uh, new interesting things to look at. And, of course, hopefully not too many bugs in the next uh, updates uh, but it's nice to see that we're back on track at the anniversary update. Uh, after the anniversary update, that's it. Uh, as you see at the bottom right, Watermark is back. Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. Evaluation Copy Build 14.901 RS Release. Redstone 2. So uh, enjoy. You have to be in the fast ring to get this. And um, hopefully it should be fixed for everyone. You should all see it available in your Windows update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully, you will uh, continue watching us on this channel. Thank you for watching.